day six. My first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both those assumptions in going outside my safe haven. My best estimate is that I have left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid and I have uh, found only danger. I approached the old living quarters, but curiously could find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come, but soon found myself in unfamiliar locale. Confused but focused, I attempted to make my way home, but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature, which seems to have made this old mine its home. And I know some of you are going to say feral, but honestly, I always pronounce it feral, so you're going to have to deal with it. Although the specimen bore significant interest in to me, I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beasts. I turned and ran, or I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. For some time, I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago, I discovered a door leading to a smaller disused part of the mine. The key for which I still have in my pocket within that area I discovered this storeroom and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. My lesson learnt, I will not venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Day 19. Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. Do not like spiders. Day 34. Caught one of the accursed eight-legged beasts nesting in my open mouth. Ugh. When I woke up in the morning. In my surprise, I swallowed it. Ah! If <laughs> it's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genus of arachnid. It would be unlikely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. Day 35. Any known venom would have affected me by now. And so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since the incident. By lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. I intend to venture into the basement beneath this storeroom in the name of science to discover more about these cre- uh, these creatures natural habitat well apparently they eat dogs so it's probably a bad idea day 50 for four days now I have been surviving solely off the quite considerable sustenance provided by these spiders for some time I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels however lady luck smiled on me once more when the batteries in my torch died, and I made a second life-saving find. The creature's natural habitat is dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes, and I will have attracted enough of the beasts for a rather hearty meal. Hmm. So if you lie still, apparently the spiders come to you. What is that? Dry, dusty old bags. Is there anything in it? Can I take it? No. Still, the spiders worry me if they can kill a dog like this. Hmm. 
Steam could blister flesh from bone in an instant. I know, I've seen it happen. Or happen. Hmm. I don't know if I'm willing to risk going that way just yet. Ah, a ladder. Which I can pick up. Bet you I can take this back to the room that I came from and use this to get back up there. Now, I think that room is this way. Ah, yes. Now, where's that hole? There we are. Oh! Well, that's easy to do. Lovely. Is there anything in here? Ooh, is that a save point? That is definitely a save point. Some batteries, painkillers, anything else of interest in here? Doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and use that save point. It was different, but the same, that time, like I had more control, but over what? Saving the game. <laughs> Alright, let's head back down to the spider's lair. And this time, we'll see if we can get across that steam. Now that I've got a save, I feel more comfortable with taking the risk. Wait, that's where I found the ladder. Hmm. Did I check out this tunnel yet? Now this is back the way I came, it looks like. No, wait. Is it? I don't see the ladder. Oh, there it is. It's just hard to see back there. I can tell I'm going to get confused really quickly with this. This is the tunnel I want to check, which is just the dog. I don't know where those spiders went, and honestly, I'm glad they're not here. Alright. Oh, oh, ouch. Definitely did not make it through that correctly. What is this? If it weren't for the size of the pieces, I would say that it looks like eggshells. Ugh. Sort of log. Day 71. My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates may have been made in error. After a careful autopsy, I am concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach of wit or which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. One, I have no source of light. Two, I swore to myself I wouldn't leave until I heard human voices outside. And three, the spiders are really tasty. <laughs> Day 100. From the marks I have been making on the walls and my scribbled diary entries, which in the dark may amount to an illegible scroll, today is the hundredth day of my new life. Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive, and have swelled in number and size. Whether or not this is the result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could only be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all fails and I am never recovered, I hope at least that my study of, and indeed involvement with, these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point in natural history. 
The greatest names in modern science got there more through fluke than talent, and it appears that this rule has extended to myself, to my discover of this delicious new species. Someone's hungry. I only pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough uh, too insignificant, for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. Oh, Well, we found some more of his notes. going to break or something? Let's make our way out of there before something bad happens. Finally, this must be all that's left of the basement storage. That lock looks rather worse for wear. Well, it's hammer time. Does that work? I can't tell if it's working or not. Or if I'm actually hitting this lock. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. What's that? A lighter refill canister. Lovely. Fluid lighter glass or gas. Hospital gray. <laughs> Rather dreary in here. Let's see, is there anything? Ooh. Chess must be quite common. Can I open it? Oh, other side. Damn it. I don't know. I can't... can't tell. It doesn't seem like I can open it. Oh, there we go. I was hitting the wrong button. I'm too used to Thief. That's the problem. See, they... they switch the, uh controls around from Thief, and since I'm so used to Thief, I keep trying to use Thief controls. Alright, is there anything behind here? Alright, well, hopefully I will learn my lesson and actually do things correctly. Is that all that's over here? Hmm. Well, I'm disappointed. I was hoping for something a little more. Alright, let's check out that lighter fuel and see if I can combine that. Ah, lovely. What's this? 73%. Oh, it just switches batteries on its own, does it? I'm as fit as can be expected. Hmm. Alright, well, where's my batteries? Do I not keep extra ones, or did I use them up? I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's take that out, because I'm sure I can use it on those lamps out there. At least that's what I'm thinking. It's the only logical explanation. Is that for anything? Doesn't look like it. Right now I have to go through steam land again. Go. Alright. Not so bad anymore. I think I got the hang of that timing. Just assume that I need to go back out. Oh, what's this? Oh my. Well, there's definitely something up there now. I don't really want to run into it. 